Thousands of Mexicans arrive in the city of Juarez each year, many of whom were internally displaced by violence in their hometowns in Mexico. Maria is one of them. She and her family fled their home in Guanajuato, central Mexico, to the northern border after being threatened by criminal gangs. The young man who was driving the Beta Group van asked me, why are they here? And I already explained to him, I was at risk. I was being persecuted. Here in Mexico, I'm very afraid that they will find us. I'm even afraid of leaving the hotel room to the street. I'm very afraid. It's something very difficult. You come and go to a city you don't know, with no money in your pockets, with many needs. daughter are in a temporary accommodation center set up in a filter hotel managed by the International Organization for Migration in the city of Juarez. Well, this is my Bible and I begin to pray and I put on my rosary. I have not forgotten this habit at all. It's a treasure for me. Come, daughter, let's pray. Yes, ma. With the will of God, I have become stronger. I feel that it is spirituality to focus on asking God. When you put your hand on there, it says as your personal mark, so the children who pass through here are not forgotten. It is proof that you are here. We haven't told my sister that we are going to leave tomorrow. I told my daughter that her aunt also wants to see us and we want to see the children. Let's go. Yes. Let's put it here because there it gets dirty. We are finally going to meet my aunt and my cousins and surprise them. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> If God gets me out of this, he can get anyone else out. You always have to have a lot of faith. You should not say never, it will never happen to me. Anything can happen to all of us in life. In recent years, tens of thousands of people have been forced to leave their homes in Mexico for different reasons. One of the main reasons has been violence. In 2019, 
Mexico officially recognized the phenomenon of internal force displacement and set out to address it in a comprehensive manner. Some of these internally displaced people, such as Maria and Leslie, passed through the Filter Hotel in the city of Juarez, where hundreds of people have received assistance since the COVID-19 pandemic began. 